Hey guys, welcome to my lecture on signal transformation. The first question is, what is transformation? Well, it's not rocket science, it's very easy. The act of transforming signal from one shape to another is called transformation. As I mentioned last session, in this course, we work with one dimensional signal in continuous time domain, which is presented by X of T. Now, let's write down some examples of transformation. For example, X of 2T xt divided by 2, x minus t, xt plus 2, or 2x of t, or x of t plus 3. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain all these transformations and their meaning. In general, when we change something inside parentheses, the signal is changed in time direction. On the other hand, when we change something outside parentheses, the signal is changed in y or value direction. If you don't understand what I just said, don't worry about it. I will make this crystal clear by the end of this tutorial, I promise. Now I'm going to use a simple example to explain the meaning of different transformations. Let's say we have a voicemail like this. Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. Let's assume the signal has this shape. The duration is 4 seconds and the maximum value is 2. So, if you play this signal with normal speed, we hear this. Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. Now, let's look at X2T. First question, what does X2T mean? It means we play signal by double speed. So, if the original signal is, Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. When you play it by double speed, it becomes, Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. As you can hear, it takes less time to finish because the speed is double and I'm talking faster. This means the signal gets compressed in time domain. What is the compression factor? Well, in this example, is 2. Now, let's look at the shape. All we need to do is to compress signal by 2. So, 2 on the time axis goes to 1 and 4 on the time axis goes to 2. The amplitude stays the same. In general, x of a t when a is greater than 1 means we compress signal in time direction by a factor of a. Now let's look at x t divided by 2. What does this mean? It basically means we play signal with half a speed. So if the original signal is, hi, this is Iman, please call me back, when you play it with half a speed, it becomes Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. As you hear, it takes more time to finish because the speed is half and I'm talking slower. This means the signal gets expanded in time and the expansion factor in this example is 2. Now, let's look at the shape of this signal. All we need to do is to expand signal by a factor of 2. So on time direction, 2 goes to 4 and 4 goes to 8. Also, the amplitude stays unchanged. Here we go. In general, x of a t when a is between 0 and 1 means we expand signal in time direction. Okay, let's talk about x of minus t. This means we play the signal from the end to the beginning. That's why this transformation is called time reversal. So if the original signal is, hi, this is Iman, please call me back, the reverse is, <laughs> I can't say it. To plot x minus t, all you need to do is to reflect the signal with respect to y axis. So 2 goes to minus 2 and 4 goes to minus 4. And the amplitude stays the same. In general, for x of a t, when a is negative, we need to reflect the signal with respect to y axis. Okay guys, to better understand the transformations that I covered so far and have a short break, I'm gonna play a short part of a song and show you the impact of different transformations on the song. First, we will listen to the original song by Josh Woodward. A special thanks to him for his amazing song. Then I will play the signal with double speed and half a speed. Finally, I will apply the time reversal transformation to the song. Let's listen to the original version. 
A cup of coffee in the morning And I get the paper I check the headlines And decide that I am bored I check my email And I decide to answer later Another cup of coffee And I drag myself to work My life is grounded in a firm routine Of coffee, sleep and work I am not boring just stick to what I know. Here is X2T, which means we play signal two times faster. And here is XT divided by two. That means we play signal by half a speed. Oh, that's boring. Let me stop it. And finally, here's X minus T, which means we play signal from the end to the beginning. Let's talk about another transformation which is called time shifting. Don't worry about naming, just try to understand what does this mean. Let's look at xt minus 2, which means we play signal 2 units later. So instead of playing signal now, we wait 2 units and then we play it. This means the signal gets shifted in the time direction by 2 units. That's why this transformation is called time shifting. Let's plot the new signal. 2 in the original signal goes to 4, and 4 goes to 6, also 0 goes to 2. The amplitude stays the same. In general, when the time shift is negative, it means we played signal later, and that's why we need to shift the signal to the right. Now let's look at x of t plus 2. This means we play signal 2 units sooner. That's why the signal gets shifted to the left by 2 units. So 0 goes to minus 2 and 4 goes to 2. The amplitude stays the same. In general, when the time shift is positive, it means we played signal sooner. And that's why we need to shift the signal to the left. So far, I talked about transformations, which are inside parentheses. As we saw, these transformations change the signal in time direction. Now I'm going to talk about transformations which happen outside the parentheses. These transformations change signal in value or y direction. Let's assume we have the same voicemail. Hi, this is Iman. Please call me back. And the shape is the same. Now let's look at 2 multiplied by x of t. What does this mean? It means we play signal with double amplitude. So if the original signal is, Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. 2x of t is, Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. So the voice is more powerful as we multiply the amplitude by 2. Let's plot the signal. It doesn't change in time direction. All we need to do is to multiply the value by 2. In general, when we multiply a signal, with a number which is greater than 1, we magnify the amplitude. Now let's multiply the amplitude by half. In this case, the amplitude is weaker. So if the original signal is, Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. When we multiply it by half, it becomes, Hi, this is Iman, please call me back. To plot the signal, all we need to do is to multiply the value by half. The signal doesn't change in time direction. In general, for a multiplied by xt, 
when A is between 0 and 1, we compress the signal in the value direction. Okay, now let's multiply the amplitude by minus 1. In this case, all we need to do is to reflect the signal with respect to the x-axis. In this example, the value of 2 on the y-axis is mapped to minus 2. And here's what we get. Finally, let's talk about amplitude shifting. When you add x of t with a number, for example 1, all you need to do is to shift the whole signal up by one unit. In this example, 0 values goes to 1 and 2 goes to 3. Here is what we get. In general, if the number is positive, we go up, and when the number is negative, we go down. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. In the next video, I will solve three examples to show you how to apply different transformations to a signal. It's super easy and fun. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video.